How do economists determine which countries are the best countries to produce particular products? The best way to measure the strength of a country's production power is to use comparative advantage. A common mismeasure of strength is to use absolute advantage, which is the ability of one country, group, or individual to engage in a specific economic activity and use fewer resources than the other country, group, or individual. Absolute advantage allows economists to compare the economic outputs of different countries, businesses, or individuals, but it doesn't give us enough information to talk about trade. An output is a good or service produced by the production process. The producers with the highest level of productivity can be determined by comparing the inputs each needs to produce a single unit of output. Inputs are any resources or factors of production needed to create a final product or service. Productivity is an economic measure of output per unit of input, including capital and labor. The producer that can produce one unit of output with the fewest inputs is the most efficient. That producer is said to have an absolute advantage. Absolute advantage is focused on who can produce the most items, not necessarily who can produce items better than someone else. Let's start with an example to see how to determine absolute advantage. Alice and Becca can each build clocks and door frames. We'll assume that each person uses the exact same raw materials to build clocks and door frames, and the final products are of equal quality as well. The only difference between Alice's and Becca's production of clocks and door frames is the time it takes for each to make the product. Suppose it takes Alice 12 hours to build a clock and six hours to build a door frame, but it only takes Becca eight hours to build a clock and two hours to build a door frame. Given a fixed amount of time to produce items, we would say that Becca has the absolute advantage in production of both clocks and door frames because she can produce each in less time, which means she could produce the most of either item if she dedicated her time to producing either item. Even though Becca has an absolute advantage in producing both items, she may still want to engage in trade with Alice. Just because a person or country could produce the most of each item, it doesn't mean they should try to produce everything. Economists use the idea of comparative advantage to determine which items society should specialize in so they can benefit from trade. In our example, Becca can focus on door frames and make them more efficiently while allowing Alice to focus on producing clocks and then trading some of her door frames for some of Alice's clocks. Through specialization in one activity, Becca would gain the comparative advantage and benefit from trade. Thank you.